let's do a few short exercises on bank reconciliations just to make sure that you 100% understand what it's all about. Now, the question one here is every, every uh, uh, single bullet point is a separate exercise that you have to do. Answer the above mentioned questions independently. So let's start here at number one. The following independent problems occurred at a medium-sized auditing firm for the year ended 31 December 2020. The overdraft, according to the bank statement, amounted to 7,800 Rand. Very important. The overdraft, according to the bank statement, was 7,000 Rand. Then they tell us that outstanding checks and outstanding deposits were 14,760 Rand and 15,600 Rand, respectively. Bank charges amounting to 900 Rand were not captured at the end of the period. So, where is it not captured? It's not captured in our bank general ledger account or in our cash book, for that matter of fact. What was the balance of the bank account in the general ledger at the end of the period before adjustments were passed? What adjustments are they talking about? What is the only possible adjustment that I can pass coming out of this information given in number one? The only adjustment that can be passed is the bank charges. So they want the balance of the bank account in the general ledger before that adjustment went through of 900 rand. Now guys, whenever you get something like that, write down on a piece of paper for yourself the format of the bank reconciliation. If we start with the bank GL account, then we will deduct from that our outstanding deposits. Why? Because it, it, that increased that balance. And um, if we have outstanding deposits, in order to take it out, we will deduct it. Outstanding checks have decreased that balance. So if we had outstanding checks and we want to eliminate that, we will add it back. And that will give us our statement as per the bank statement. Simultaneously, if we started with our balance as per the bank statement, we are going to work backwards. So balance per statement, bank statement, if there was any outstanding checks that still have to be presented to the bank for payment, that will reduce our bank statement balance. So if you're going to start with a bank statement, we're going to deduct our outstanding checks. Simultaneously, a deposit is going to increase our bank statement balance, so we will add outstanding deposits, and then we will have the final figure balance per GL account. So what do they want here? Here they want the general ledger balance. So we are going to follow this route upside down. They gave us the balance as per the bank statement. It was an overdraft balance, a negative balance of 7,800 Rand. So what are we going to do with outstanding checks? That is even going to reduce that balance even further. So we're going to deduct outstanding checks of 14,760. But then the deposits, once it's actually being shown on our bank account, it will then favorably have an impact on our bank statement balance. So we're going to add the 15,600. Now, they said included in this overdraft balance was bank charges of 900 Rand. So, we want the GL balance before the bank charges was actually being posted. So, we're going to start with our bank overdraft balance, the minus 7,800. We're going to deduct the outstanding checks that still needs to go through the bank account. We're going to add outstanding deposits. That's going to have a favorable impact on our bank statement balance. And then included in that bank statement balance was bank charges of 900 Rand. What did the 900 Rand do? The 900 Rand has actually reduced it, the bank balance, so it made the bank overdraft bigger. So, therefore, we're going to add back the 7,800 to see what the balance of our bank account would have been 
before the bank charges went through. And that is what they want. They want the GL account balance before the bank charges is going to be posted, which is 6060. In the second question, they say all these circumstances apply. What is the balance according to the general ledger? So our bank account in the general ledger after the adjustments were passed. So after the 900 rand bank charges actually went through. Now, we could have started here again and said 7,800 plus 14,760 plus 15,600 would have given us 6,960. Here we took shortcut, we took the 6060, we deducted the 900 rand because now we've passed the 900 rand. What did it do to our cash book balance, our bank balance in the ledger? It will reduce our bank balance in the ledger. That was a minus 6060, so it's an overdrawn balance. So once that 900 rand bank charges was posted, that balance will increase into an overdraft balance of 6960. There is the English 6960. Number three, the balance out according to the bank statement at the end of the month amounted to 5396. So we can assume it's a positive balance. Outstanding checks amounted to 15250. And outstanding deposits amounted to 8930. Then they tell us that a check for 860 Rand included in deposits that were captured during the month was returned by the bank marked RD on the last day of the month. No entries concerning the check were made in the financial records of the client. What is the balance according to the bank account in the general ledger before? any adjustments great before any adjustments so again we're going to start with our bank statement balance balance by bank statement we want to work towards our balance in the gl account so we're going to deduct outstanding checks it will reduce our bank statement balance we're going to add outstanding deposits it will increase our bank statement balance just get the English here. The RD check would only have appeared on the bank statement. So the balance as per the bank statement was 5396. Less outstanding checks, 15250, plus outstanding deposits would have been 8930. So the balance in our GL account should have been 92440. But now they're telling us that that RD check has not yet been posted. And they want the GL balance in the ledger before that adjustment is going to take place. So after the adjustment was going to take place, that would be the, the general ledger balance. But before we're going to post that adjustment entry, we have to add it back. What has the 860 done to that? That 860... Um, RD check reduced the bank statement balance. So here we didn't do any calculation or any adjustment for the 860 Rand and we get to the final balance of our cash book. But what would that balance have been if we haven't posted the 860 Rand? Well then it would have been that balance plus the 860 because what did the 860 done? It reduced our bank account balance. So plus 860 to eliminate the impact of that. So before the RD check was posted, the balance on the GL account, the bank account, would have been only 64 Rand and 40 cents. The next question. Number four. The balance according to the bank statement at the end of the month amounted to 15,600 and it is in brackets so we can assume that it is an overdrawn balance. Outstanding checks amounted to 29,520. Guys, there's no difference in the way I'm going to treat this. The only thing is if it's an overdrawn balance, it's just going to be something that is in brackets. 
Good. Outstanding checks amounted to 29,520. Outstanding deposits amounted to 31,200. Bank charges amounting to 1,800 rand were not captured in the cash book. And then they ask us the balance according to the cash book before adjustments. So before the bank charges was going to be captured. So again, I'm going to start here. What is a statement balance for my bank statement? I will deduct outstanding checks, I will add outstanding deposits, and then I will get what the GL balance was supposed to be. But because the bank charges has not yet been posted in the GL account, I will have to make an adjustment for that. So our balance as per the bank statement was an overdrawn balance, a minus 15,600. Less outstanding checks of 29.5 to us, even going to get a more overdrawn balance, plus outstanding deposits, 31,200. And now we're going to eliminate the impact of the bank charges on the bank statement balance. So that would have been a plus 1,800. Um, so that is the bank statement balance before bank charges has been posted. And that will give us then an overdrawn balance in our bank account of um, 12120. 12120. Great, the next one. The cash book balance at the end of the period amounted to minus 38,000 um, rand. The cash book balance now at the end of the period amounted to 38,000 rand. A comparison between the cash book and the bank statement revealed the following. So now we're going to do a reconciliation, but we are going to start with the bank ledger account. So going back to this thing where we started off with, now we're going to start there. So what is an outstanding deposit? Well, if it was already included in GL account, we're going to take it out. It has reduced the GL account balance, so to eliminate that, we have to add it back. So let's see. Um, yeah. So we're going to start with a cash book balance, an overdrawn balance of 38,000. So the only difference is you put it in brackets. A comparison, a deposit amounting to 10,000 rand was not taken into account by the bank. What did the 10,000 rand do to the 38,000? It actually had a favorable impact. So now we're going to take it out to minus 10,000. Checks amounting to 16,000 did not appear on the bank statement. What was the impact of that on the cash book balance? It reduced our cash book balance. So in order to eliminate that, we are going to add back the 16,000 to our 38,000. A check received from a debt of 2,000 was returned by the bank marked RD. So what are we going to do with that? We are going to reduce our cash book balance even further with another 2,000 rand for the RD balance. And then we can calculate our bank statement balance. So the, the balance as per the ledger was overdrawn 38,000 minus 38,000, plus outstanding checks, less outstanding deposits, less RD checks, 2,000 rand. It's going to make that balance even bigger. And that gives you then a bank statement balance of 34,000 rand. Number six, the balance according to the cash book was 78,900. So again, we start with a cash book balance, 78,900. The bank statement, however, showed a positive balance of 98,000. So they give me the bank statement balance as well at the end of the period. If the only other differences were outstanding deposits, of 6375 and bank charges not reflected in the cash book of 45 rand. What was the total amount of outstanding checks? Great. So I'm back here at where we've started. If we have the basic format of the bank reconciliation, we can now just insert the figures that we have and see what are the figures that we don't have. And then we actually have our answer. So let's see. What was the balance per the bank 
statement. If we start at the bank statement balance, bank statement had a positive balance of 98,550. What was our outstanding deposits? We had an outstanding deposit of 6375. What was the impact of the 6375? What will it be on the bank statement balance? It's going to be a favorable impact. So that's going to increase our bank statement balance with 6375. Now, then they tell us that there was bank charges not reflected in the cash book of 45 Rand. That is why it's a reconciling item. What was the impact of that 45 Rand on our bank statement balance? It made it less. So if we want to eliminate it to work towards the bank ledger account balance, we have to add it back to the bank statement balance of 45 Rand. The balance as per cash book, they gave us that as well, is 78,900. So what is the missing figure? Outstanding checks. So that means just by doing this little computation, that must be a minus, our outstanding checks is going to be 26,070 Rand. So 98 plus 6375 plus 45 less 26,070 will give you 78,900. And these are just in a different way, 26,070.